I can't even lie to you. I have, I got ready like three hours ago and I have just been procrastinating. So we're gonna do this lookbook while we're gonna be drinking wine. It's gonna be, I think like five outfits normally how I do it. And then also I will be styling a question that I had in my last video. So if you do have anything that you wanna see styled, drop it down below and I'll probably do that in my next video just because I feel like it's more fun that way. It's more interactive and yeah, let's just get to it. See the full look I actually found a way to get my camera to give you guys the full view with the shoes but I don't know if it's making me look shorter than I am kind of like high up but regardless it doesn't matter okay this is the outfit that I would like to call um, like going to your family barbecue and then just like hitting on your uncle I feel like the hat with the long sleeve definitely gives it like that country feel obviously I thrifted I think this and this in that thrift haul oh, that was literally my last video but I tried to tone it down because obviously I wanted to do country boots but I was like that's gonna be doing too much so I paired it with these shoes I'm gonna be real honest I do not remember where I got them from like I literally haven't busted them out in probably two years but they are amazing I just love a good chunky shoe and this just gives me snow bunny brass vibes and then this amazing bag okay the ring light this is what i mean it's like giving it like a weird lighting but this is probably like one of my new favorite mini bags it is amazing is there a brand on this actually um i think i said this when i was showing you guys this in the thrift haul and i said there was literally no brand so that sucks but i am absolutely obsessed like this thing is really really heavy which is why i'm surprised there's no brand on it because i feel like if someone was trying to just do something if I just went like this no violence but you know we could potentially do something because that's how heavy it is also I do have these rings that literally this is like my everyday jewelry so I feel like I shouldn't really mention it except this one what are the ones I didn't thrift oh yeah this cherub one right here I did not thrift I got this from forever 21 like four years ago and then also these mini hoops I did get these from TJ Maxx Caught. This heart I actually thrifted yesterday and I am literally obsessed with this. Like, are you kidding me? I love this so much. It's like the perfect length to do like a bunch of layered looks. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this outfit. Don't mind my hair. I literally just cut my bangs yesterday and I just don't care to style them right now. And I have to like fix it. So my hair might look a little weird in the updo, but this is the second outfit. And I know a lot of you guys might be thinking Viola, what are you wearing so this is a question that i had from like my last lookbook when i asked you guys and someone asked if i could style baggy pants and these pants are actually way too big on me i literally have them like shoelaced back here and then this top is also too big because i have no tits so it just looks awkward but this whole idea came from this girl i forgot her name but i'll post her up on instagram and she just has i swear to god the best outfits and anyways she always styles baggy pants with sneakers and then some type of girlyish lingerie top usually it's like tight you could do the whole like skate vibe you know and wear something like this which honestly i would wear this with these pants but yeah for this one obviously i just did a corset kind of open this is a vintage victoria's secret that i think yeah is going to be up on my depop and then also with these pants i love this side of them i hope you can see from far away because i am doing this like i'm not doing like my usual close-up but these are literally my favorite pants ever again they are just way too big so hopefully they can go to a home where i said gonna style it really cute and i did try to do like white heels but i don't have any white kid heels like the ones that i have are pretty thick which is why i went with the white just basic ass tennis shoes and then i paired it with this little mini brown bag again the ring light is like messing with the tones but i thought it fit again perfectly and i honestly guys i love this outfit i love it with like the fact that i have like the bangs it makes it a little bit more like cinderella-esque on top with like the corset i kept the same jewelry except i did take off the whole um um, heart necklace and yeah I guess that's 
pretty much it. So for this outfit, I thought I would make it a little bit more fun and I actually ended up texting my friends in a group chat asking like what I should style next, kind of like, you know, cause I'm a loser and no one else asked me what to style. But anyways, I thought it would just be more fun to do it this way. And only Julie replied because I think Hannah's like sleeping or something, I don't know. But the first outfit that they said is an all denim outfit to wear to the pumpkin patch. And she said she's feeling in a fall mood. So this is what I created. And I'm not going to lie. I am kind of obsessed with having bangs now because like three weeks ago I tried to do one of these headband things that were popular like last summer. And it just looked stupid because I didn't have bangs. And now is this not banging? I just got this black headband from like the 99 cent store. And if you guys don't know, I live in California, so literally the fall time, it's still like 100 degrees out. And we always go to this place called Apple Hill. Nine times out of 10, I feel like I'm always wearing a skirt there. Like you could definitely wear jeans with this if you wanted to, but because it's so hot, like literally just wearing this denim jacket would be too hot, but I didn't have a shirt that was denim and I was trying to do like the whole denim on denim. So everything I believe is thrifted again aside from the headband and then these little earrings that i'm actually wearing that are like these lockets i don't know if you're gonna even be able to see it but i got these from my mom's like closet clean out so in a way it is kind of thrifted and then this black juicy bag that honestly i'm lying i think this was my sister's I'm almost positive this was my sister's from like high school. Obviously, if you guys watch my channel a lot, you probably would know that I most likely would have styled this with cowboy boots, but I felt like that was too predictable and I wanted a more like higher black boot. So that's why I went with these and then of course a denim mini because I'm obsessed. And then at the start of the show is this long sleeve. I like how it like cuts out and then I did leave these unbuttoned because the sleeves of these are actually really cool. They like flare out and have this situation. So I kind of wanted to see like the ribbonness of it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, this is the full denim going to the pumpkin patch outfit. You know, imagine me with like an apple beer in hand and a donut in the other. I literally haven't even had a glass of wine. I feel like I'm absolutely hammered. Like, look how much I still have left. This is still from the beginning of the video. Should I chug this right now and pour myself another glass while we do the last two outfits? <sighs> Success. For this next one, she said, turtleneck like Steve Jobs and obviously that's kind of like vague so I was like Steve Jobs but hot like let's not just do a turtleneck let's do literally Steve Jobs but like sexy now obviously it helped that I literally had the most perfect turtleneck on earth literally sexy Steve Jobs because the turtlenecks that he wears isn't like full it has some and this one unfortunately it is from urban outfitters i got it when i worked there back in like 2000 like 16 ish and then i paired it with these just denim but to kind of spice it up these were like a little cargo not cargo but like you know work vibe situation and then this mini black belt that kind of has a western feel to it again everything is thrifted these black sneakers i thought worked perfectly because it still had some of the white to give it a little bit of a contrast and if you guys don't know steve jobs i'm pretty sure it's steve jobs he just has like a basic outfit that kind of is like his uniform so it kind of eliminates the options of what to wear in the morning so he can really focus on like getting his work done that's kind of like why he is known for just like his turtlenecks and stuff like that because he literally wears the same outfit every day so he can put his energy into more other things i did keep of course the headband and the earrings just the same as my last outfit just because i feel like the headband worked perfectly you know sexy steve jobs and i did everything with silver accents which i normally don't do again I did wear the same earrings these are like the only silver earrings I have and then I liked this bag because it had of course the silver accents on it this is a nine west bag I am obsessed when I saw people having that like Louis Vuitton circle one I was like okay I need to find it and literally like a week later I found this bag and I love how when you wear it the charms hang out I think it's so cute again with the belt nothing much else to say about this except the fact that it's literally like like what else can i say about this anyways this is our second glass 
Okay, this last one is gonna throw you guys in for a loop because there's just a lot to unpack here with this description. So she said, one of those black fall hats that was popular like three years ago, like MILF taking her kids trick or treating, right? That was like the first one. But then immediately after that she said, or what about a huge blazer? Like you're going to a meeting, but you forgot and you're coming from some guy's house and you took his blazer with you to look professional. So this could totally be well without the hat. This is what I came up with. Okay, we got this huge black blazer. I feel like it's gonna look better if I have this in my hand. Like this makes sense. So here's the story. I am have a Tinder date. Right? but this is like our third date so I'm wanting to look real sexy okay I'm wearing a slip dress naughty okay and some black heels but he doesn't expect the black heels because I'm wearing like a long oversized coat with this underneath and then when he enters the door he's like confused because I'm wearing a long coat and heels but then I take the coat off and I reveal to you a slip dress but I'm wearing a push-up bra okay we're wearing a push-up bra in this scenario so my boobs my tits are out and then we're like rolling around whatever having fun i forgot i had a business meeting at a local restaurant and i think oh my god i'm gonna be late like i don't have time to go home and change so you know what i do i go in his closet and i grab a black laser boom i have this hat in my trunk from the beach you know because maybe i do that and then i think okay this looks very like we're going to a wine bar steakhouse restaurant this seems semi-appropriate and then i have this clutch because you know that's what i wore for my sexy night just why not i don't know so i thought this is the outfit. Does that make any type of sense? Again, everything is thrifted except from this black hat I actually got from Urban as a gift when I was like 17 years old. I'm like 25 now, about to be 25. So this hat is very old, but this is the hat I think she was talking about. And then of course I did decide to wear a hat because I had sex hair. I couldn't really fix that because I didn't have a curling wand or anything. So I just like kind of like combed it out with a comb and I put this on here so you wouldn't know and boom and then also this i actually didn't get from the thrift store this my friend was cleaning out her closet and so i went over there and this is the dress so i really want to do these lookbooks i want to do them every other week and they're more fun if you guys ask me what to style if not that's fine i'll just keep bothering my friends but i feel like it's only fair that i make styling videos because I thrift so much, you guys want to see how I style those pieces. And yeah, I guess that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am not okay right now, but we're going to vibe out. It's like 12 a.m. at this point, and we're going to pretend like we're at a wine bar. Oh, I almost forgot. I am wearing one ring. Okay, if you can see this. This is a Marc Jacobs ring that I thrifted. It was like, I think this ring was eight bucks, I'm not going to lie. Or it might have been four bucks, not sure. But I love it. I think it really adds, you know, I want it to be simple because I didn't want to overdo it. And yeah, I guess that is pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in my next